Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. But not only the latest, we're actually going to talk about the past three builds because we haven't covered any of them. For those of you who are new to this channel, the Canary channel is basically a channel where Microsoft will test new features that are basically not related to any Windows 11 version. So this channel is highly unstable. It has features that may never ship to the main release. Because we are in a phase where the branch was changed from germanium to bromine certain new builds are quite boring but if we're covering for example the past three builds we have some quite interesting new things that were tested inside the canary channel in this video we are on the build 27965 but we're also talking about the builds 27959 and 27954 so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all Microsoft in the Canary channel is testing out the ability to move the hardware indicators on your screen and to access this you can just open up the settings app go to system notifications and at the bottom of the page you're gonna have the setting position of on-screen indicators and you can change it from bottom center to top left and top center related to input Microsoft is also adding the new shortcuts which basically include the win plus minus which will insert an E and dash and win plus shift plus minus which will insert an EM dash also inside Windows share Microsoft is adding the ability to pin your favorite apps directly from the Windows Share window, which I think is pretty useful. Also, when an app can't open, that dialog was also changed so that it better matches the Windows 11 design principles. In addition to this, Microsoft is also testing out the new Start menu inside the Canary channel, and this is how the Start menu will basically look when it's enabled for the first time on your system. I'm not gonna showcase it again, but quickly, if you want to disable the recommended section, just right-click on it, go to Start Settings, and then just disable Show recently added apps, show recommended files, and show recommendations, and also show most used apps. And when you open up the start menu again, you're going to see that the recommended section is now turned off in the start menu. Also, the .NET Framework 3.5, starting with this build, is no longer a Windows feature on demand optional component. And of course, you can still manually install it. More info about this will be in the article below in the video's description. Also, Microsoft is adding Edit, which is a command line text editor that is now delivered with Windows. You can quickly edit a file while in the terminal app by typing typing edit followed by the file name. So to test this out, we're just going to type in here edit. We're also going to create a new text document here. For example, test. Let's type something in here. Fast. Save it. Let's also copy the location. So we'll just go and type in here CD and then the location and then edit test. Let's see if this works. As you can see, this works, but for some reason it doesn't show me the text that I already had inserted here. But of course, it's still pretty interesting that you can do this directly from the terminal. Talking about fixes in this build related to networking, Microsoft fixed an issue where you might not be able to connect to shared files and folders if you were using the server message block v1 protocol on NetBIOS over TCP IP NetBIOS and for the latest updates. A general fix includes the fact that Microsoft fixed an issue causing some insiders with ARM64 for PCs to experience an increase in bug checks with error IRQL not less or equal in the latest Canary builds. Related to the file explorer, the context menu has been updated to remove the accent color backplate. They also made some underlying changes to help improve the performance of launching cloud files. Also, an issue was fixed which could lead to icons and text becoming overlapping on the desktop. And also fix an issue where icons and the details, preview navigation panes of file explorer were improperly mirrored using Arabic or Hebrew display languages. Related to task and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where the battery icon could get out of sync with the actual charging state and also fixed a focus related issue when clicking on an app preview thumbnail which could result in it dismissing but the app not actually coming to the foreground. Also related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed the issue with the taskbar not auto hiding correctly when you had the option from the taskbar behaviors and automatically hide the taskbar enabled. Related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing start menu to dismiss if you try to use win plus shift plus s to take a screenshot of it. Related to display and graphics, they fixed an issue where apps and browsers could have partially stock on screen content when other maximized slash full screen apps were updating in the background. Related to Windows Hello, Microsoft fixed an issue where Windows Hello pen setup might fail with an error code on intra domain joint devices after the latest updates. Related to voice access, they fixed an issue which could result in voice access not working, showing error 9001. And also for developers, there was an issue where Pix on Windows was unable to play back GPU captures on 
the latest OS versions. This has been addressed by a new Pix release related to Windows security. Microsoft fixed an issue where the Apple shops and some of the text in the app weren't displaying correctly. And related to video playback, they fixed a recent issue which is causing some videos and games to be unexpectedly red. And they also fixed an issue which could affect playback of protected content in certain Blu-ray DVDs and digital TV apps. Talking about known issues on the latest Canary builds, Microsoft is investigating reports that sleep and shutdown aren't working correctly for some insiders after the latest Canary builds. Related to the File Explorer, they are working on the fix for an issue in the latest Canary builds causing File Explorer to crash when transferring files to a network drive. Related to the Settings app, settings may crash when accessing drive information under Settings, System, and then Storage. This also impacts accessing the drive information from the properties when right click a drive in File Explorer. Related to Login and Lock, they investigating an issue in this build where the media controls may not display on the lock screen. So this is the Canary channel, some new features, a lot of fixes, and a whole bunch of known issues. Of course, for additional information, you can check out the article below in the video's description. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.